Okay, so depending on what your uh, desire is here, if you want both claws to be identical, um, then there's one way to do it. But if you want just this top arm on just the one side, then there's another way. So I'll show you both right now. Um, either way, we'll go ahead and get rid of this right one. So if you want them to be identical, uh, what you can do is just click on the, the component over here in your tree, right click, move copy. Down here underneath the dialog boxes, you can click create a copy. And then we're going to set our pivot point. We're going to set it, set it off this, what I assume is going to be the pivot point for the part. you got to hit set pivot then. Now we can just grab this and spin it around to 180. Enter. And there you go, you've got, you've got two identical parts like that. If that is not what you wanted, we can just go ahead and delete this. And you can tell they're, they're identical and that any edit made to one is going to affect the other because the component name is identical before the semicolon and then it's an iteration, so it's number one and then part number two of that iteration. So the other way to do this, if you delete that, uh, we'll go back to before, I'm just gonna roll back the timeline to before you added that arm on top. We'll left click again on the component, right click, we're gonna do a copy, and we're gonna make sure that our, uh, the top of our tree is activated, and then we're gonna right click there and hit paste new. So now you can see the actual name before the semicolon is different. It's added a parentheses one. Um, but we can still use our pivot point to adjust the location to match there. Okay. Rotate this guy around 180. Hit enter. And because I move this and then we're going to change that, I have to capture this position. Now that position's captured, you roll forward, all those edits just take place. And that's that one edit because there's probably, yeah, there we go. And there you go, you've got your right part. So I hope that helped. Uh, it's two ways to copy a component, one keeping the identical um, structure and one allowing you to edit it after the copy.